Hey, hey, hey. Taff, another out of this world story from our space. When one door opens, another one closes. But can the same be said about an open relationship? Today on our space, is looking to add a third party to your bedroom play a red flag? Let's discuss that. Up first, a simple request for some might not be so simple for others. My 43 male girlfriend, 36 female, asked to open the relationship and I just pointed her to the door. So, like the title says, my 43 male girlfriend, 36 female, asked that we open the relationship and I just pointed her to the door. Was it too much? I strongly believe that in a monogamous relationship when someone asks to open it, well, it's because that person saw something else out there and is ready to try it instead of working on the relationship. Basically, is blind sending his or her partner. So, I have been with Fran, 36, over the last two years and a half. Almost two as a couple. I thought the things were moving smoothly and was about to ask her to move in at the beginning of April. But lately, she was acting rather distant. So I decided to wait a little bit and watch. I was cheated on in the past, so I'm a little cautious with some signs. Out of nowhere, this last Friday, she asked me to open the relationship. She gave me all of her big speech, and when she ended her presentation, I asked her if she has someone in mind, because it's not like we decided today and basically going out with other persons tomorrow. Basically, I trick her into telling me what I already knew. And yes, she has someone in mind, which means to me that either she already did it, or she has it all set up. So I got up, walked around the apartment while she was trying to sell that this could be good for both of us in our relationship. By the time she ended talking, I handed her one of my sports bags with all her stuff in it and tell her to leave the spare key over the table on her way out. That we are done and she knows why. Then I went to the couch and turned on the TD, just trying to look indifferent and safe face. She was speechless for a while, about to cry. But before she could say something, I tell her that I didn't want to talk about anything and she should leave. As soon as she left, I felt like crap. So unworthy. Cried a little, and as right now, I'm still mourning. My phone has been going almost nuclear with all the calls and texts I received from her friends or both sides about my extreme reaction over her simple request. Don't know what she told them. So now I'm sitting wondering if I really went overboard and at the same time fighting the urge to run back to her. Because deep inside, even knowing my feelings for her are still there, the trust is gone and I'm not going to spend all my time watching her movements. Is not healthy. Maybe in time. Really, I don't know. <laughs> Before anyone pointed out, yes, I know, my reaction is pure reflection of me, not what she did or what she was about to do or could do. So, did it go overboard? I asked for an opinion, and the community will provide. A first one goes like this. But you dude was fine. If she was not satisfied with a relationship, she should have handled that with you, not by planning a sex date with someone else. The OP replies, Thanks. My point exactly. The next piece of advice states, You were very nice to her considering what she did. Anyone who says any different is no friend of yours. The OP replies, It's not like I think I did wrong, but some of my friends are trying to patch things up because they care and telling me that I was too extreme in the hope of we can find a way back. So even if it sounds silly, asking perspective from unknown people helps. Another community member chimes in, Handled perfectly. You did nothing wrong. She already had feelings for another person. At least sexually. So she should go have fun with them. She just doesn't get to go have that fun and have you. If people in your life don't understand that, then they can pound sand too. No, I don't think you went overboard, OP. I think these comments have a point. She already had feelings for someone else, and she was looking for an excuse to be with them while not having the guts to just leave you. And she can't go on test driving other folks while still being with you. That's not how an open relationship works. If she wanted out, she should have just said that and not put you in a position that you aren't comfortable with. I mean, sure, you may have been coming from a place of insecurity, but it was unfair of her to put you in that position. Update. First of all, thanks for all of your replies and upvotes. It never crossed my mind that this post would have this much attention. I just wrote to put order in my ideas and bend a little, and with the hope of a few people told me if I went overboard, but I didn't expect the amount of replies I got. So many thanks for all that. Some people pointed that maybe I went overboard, that maybe she wasn't aware of my position on the subject. I replied to some, but there were too many comments to get back to it all. So to clarify, maybe a year back approximately, 
We had a couple of friends in a similar situation, and for like a month, that was the main theme of conversation on our group for friends. And every time I said that, for me, is a big no, and if one person in a relationship needs to be with other persons, well, he or she should leave. About the friends trying to mend things up, well, they weren't totally aware of the situation. Yesterday after post to here, and with my ideas more defined, went to see a group of them and told them my point. All of them agree with me at different levels. Some of them wanted to let it go, others wanted to burn her at the stake. Of course, a few girls in the group pointed that I could do things in a better way, and also, there were a few questions about if I could consider giving her another chance. But for me, the main issue is not feelings. I know that I love her, but the trust is gone, and I don't want to find myself wondering all the time what she's up to. After I left, my friends talked to the other persons that weren't there, and basically the waters have calmed. If you were wondering what she is doing, really I don't know. I got a few texts from her, but haven't read them yet, and don't think I will do it soon. Anyway, I know it's not much, but this is all I got for now. Note, when I first joined this part of Reddit, I didn't get that people got here by posting their relationship troubles, but I do get it now. I think you're right about the trust. Her eyes have been wandering and that can hurt. Obviously she has rise in someone else and her attention outside of your relationship. Final update. Final update. My, 43 male, girlfriend, 36 Ema, asked to open the relationship and I just pointed her to the door. Hello to every stranger interested in how things ended. I wasn't much on the idea of posting another update, but some people have been asking, so here it is. Finally, after listening to various friends and some Reddit users, I talked to her, just to sort things out. Last Friday, we met at her regular place, where we take coffee. At the distance, she looked great, so great that I just wanted to say, F it, and drag her back to my place. It took a lot of restraining to not do it. When I got close to her, I noticed her sadness and she had still has her eyes irritated from crying. We sat, before she could say a word, I asked her to tell me the entire story and then please don't let anything out of it, that I need it, and then I would ask her a few things and also needed all the truth. The story is pretty basic. Around two months before she asked for the open relationship on her girl's dancing night out, they met this exotic, good-looking guy. During the first month, he was the new flavor that all the single friends in the group were trying out, which leads to girls taking and sharing experiences. Eventually, this guy, that was having his way with all the girls around him, set his eyes on Fran and began to flirt with her, taking her to the dance floor, having fun. Well, here's one she should have stopped things, because we had an arrangement with dancing night that she would stay away from any guy because we guys are pigs and it's pretty rare that a guy just wants to dance. Anyway, because of the excitement, she went for it, enjoyed the attention of this guy and had a great time dancing. Looking at the timeline, this was around the time I noticed the friend was distant. Moving forward a few weeks, her friends were sharing more intimate stories about the guy and that got into her mind. She found herself fantasizing doing it with him. Also, it was trying to make a move on her too. But from what she told me, she didn't go for it because she was with me. Drinks and drunken friends are bad counselors, and once the idea of opening the relationship came out, they were over two weeks chatting about how to convince me that because long time ago, I had threesomes and also swinged a little, I should be okay with the idea of an open relationship. But the threesomes and swinging are things you do as a couple, and out of the pure excitement, at least for me, and was a long time ago, early 20s. All this led to the day she asked to open the relationship. She told me that she and her friends never thought that I would end the relationship in the moment, that the worst scenario would be me getting angry and saying no, so there's no big deal in just asking. At this point, I interrupt her and tell her that she should know better. We were together over two years and always shared my thought about everything with her. She agreed. At this point, I explained to her that I didn't break up with her for the question. I did it because it was already a guy. So for me, that was a major trust issue. If this was some concern that came out natural, maybe we could have worked it out. But in the worst scenario, maybe we could found an alternative. But the way things were, it was an alert for me. We went around the topic for a while and then I began to question her. Basically, I asked if she was intimate with him at some point. She said she wasn't. If she developed some feelings for him, no, she didn't. And lastly, if she has seen the guy again, and that was also a no. Even if that is not much, that was a small relief. But I explained to her that I can't go back to her. I need to close this for my own health. As I told her that we share a lot of friends and I don't want to lose any of them because of this and wouldn't be fair to ask them to choose. 
so we can behave like adults and keep things friendly. If my friends take one side, it's because they want it, not because I asked them to. She said how sorry she is, that if she could, would undo everything, but she knew it can't be done. She was about to cry. I was also too, so it was a good moment to ask for the check and leave. I walked her to her car, opened the door for her, just a habit of mine, and she started to cry. I couldn't help and hug her. We stood there about 10 minutes. When she calmed, she got into her car and drove. I was in shock. Went home, grabbed my camping gear, and drove to the mountains and spent all weekend there to clear my mind. Early this morning, I was driving back to the city and at that very moment my phone grabbed signal. It got flooded with messages from friends and family, all worried because I basically disappeared without telling anybody. I takes back to everyone telling them that I was okay, that I went out for camping, and at that moment was driving to work. Also, I got a text from her, something along the lines that she feels that we are not over yet, and that she thinks I need more time to leave all this behind me, and she will wait in the hope of it. I haven't texted her back, because I'm pretty sure I'm done, but experience has taught me to never say never. So for now I'm gonna take it easy, doing what I like, and see where things take me. Well, that's it. Thanks for all your support and advice. P.S. Sorry about my English. No more reactions from the community. First up, good job standing up for yourself. The moment you get another guy in her mind, she's no longer respecting you. Do not take her back. There are plenty of good women out there that will treat you right. Well, now she can get all the attention and sexual experience with any guy she wants, all being single, of course. Only vile humans wish to explore their sexual desires while still in a relationship with others. The OB replies, To be fair, the mind played tricks on us, so having thought or fantasies is pretty normal. Take action is the issue. Here is where I draw the line. I don't wish her ill or anything. At the moment, I'm just a little sad. Not gonna lie. Going back had crossed my mind a lot of times, but I just play in my mind the scenario of me back with her and also wondering and having the need to check her phone. And that's a big no for me. I don't believe she is vile, only we weren't all the same page. Also, I think, deep inside, she wasn't on the same page with her own self. Anyway, time to move forward and see what life has ahead for me. Honestly, I think you made the right choice. She decided to go for it and she found out what that cost her. You deserve someone who wouldn't entertain such a thought. Wishing you all the best, OP. What do you think? You'd OP overreact? Next up, a girlfriend exploring herself by means of another man. Girlfriend, female 24, cheated on me, male 24, and a long distance relationship as she wanted to explore herself. So I started talking to this girl back in 2021. Got introduced to her because we worked in the same company. After a few weeks, I asked her out and began a relationship. We stated a long distance relationship as work from home was introduced. We spent a lot of time together as we were working together. Shared a great connection, had so many similar hobbies, interests and kinks. After one year, she tells me that she plans to move abroad to pursue higher education, her master's, as she wasn't satisfied with her current salary and asked me to do the same since it'd be beneficial for our career growth and would give us an opportunity to build a life together at some place new. I agree and we both applied for spring intake together. We got the admission. Her visa got approved but mine didn't so I had to apply for fall intake. Ultimately, it did get approved. So, she left in December 2022 and, and again, we continued the long distance relationship. After two months, she was crying like crazy and tells me that her roommate tries to kiss her forcefully while he was drunk and she rejected it. I told her to strictly establish boundaries so that these sorts of incidents don't happen again, or just look for another place. In the next few weeks, when things seemed fine, she asked me for my thoughts on open relationships. I should have told her no, I'm not interested in that, and I'll never be interested in it. And she told me to just try and have a one-night stand and see how it feels. I got so alarmed and told her no means no, and she didn't bring it up again. The thing is that we were both virgins and we had planned about exploring the sex stuff together. So it did come as a shock as to why she's asking me to try these things when we have plans for that sort of stuff already. Then later on, everything made sense. So this month out of nowhere, she tells me that things got physical between her and her roommate, the one who tried to kiss her forcefully, while they were alone in the gym, and later on ended up having sex. This continued for a few days. She told me that she just couldn't wait, and as she feels like she's getting old, she feels the need to explore herself. The sex didn't mean anything, and that she still wants to build a life with me and she loves me. I was furious. Here I am, leaving my job, family, family business, everything behind, spending a crap ton of money just so that we could be together 
get married, and build something for us, and this is what she did to me. She says she feels very guilty about it, and she has ended everything with a roommate, and is already looking for a new place where she will live by herself until I'm with her. Sorry for making this so lengthy, I'm just devastated. I don't know how to handle this. I haven't picked up her calls or replied to her texts. I feel sort of betrayed and have no motivation to move abroad. Everything feels like a waste and a mistake. Any suggestions on what I should do? Shall I forgive her and give her another chance? Or shall I continue ignoring her? Let's see what kind of advice is offered in this scenario. First up, the relationship is over. If you want to move abroad, do it for yourself, not her. This woman has cheated and lied to you, and she will do it again. Even if where you are moving will be right next to her, ignore her. Stop contact completely. Any money you are spending on her stops right now. She will continue to say I love you, beg and plead to you. Ignore it. None of it will help you when she destroyed your trust again. Would you honestly still get married to her? Knowing that the second you are outside of her line of sight she will sleep another random dude and call it self-discovery? Disappear from her life and teach her the price of being disloyal is someone you care about. Papi replies, Yeah, no contact has been the case for the past two weeks and I never spend any money on her. She's taking care of her finances by herself. In her last text, she said that she's going to wait for me and will reach out to me once I'm there. I just ignored it. I think this relationship is done. She proved who she is. And like the comments said, the second you're out of sight, she's going to do it again. She probably has lied to you about trying to find somewhere else to live and she's expecting you to not go. Why else would she tell you? I wouldn't even try to move there anymore if it's not too late. Changing your plans might be a headache. But it's better than uprooting your life and moving there to be with someone who doesn't respect you. But yeah, if you're going to go, do it for yourself and not for her. What would you do? Thank you for joining us today on Our Space. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Until next time.